So we're at, uh, where are we? We're camping out at the Grampians, and the particular campsite we're at does not have any sort of cell phone reception. So this bloody phone, no good. Uh, so what do you do in that case? How do you, like, send emails and communicate with the outside world? world? Well, I'm going to show you two ways that you can send emails. One being Winlink and the other being APRS. I've got Pat open here and I've just gone to create a new email and it's basically just like a normal email client. So I'm going to send this to my mum. Uh, and now one thing to know about how Winlink works is when you first connect it generates an account for you your, based off your call sign. So your email address will be a um, like uh, your call sign at Winlink. So in my case, it'll be um, VK3FUR at Winlink. But the thing is, people can't just email you straight away from that email address. What they have to do uh, is either be whitelisted in, in your user profile, or you have to send them an email. Once you send them an email, they'll be whitelisted automatically and they can reply to you. And that's to stop spam and it's to comply with some of the US regulations around uh, communicating with third parties. So I'm just going to quickly send a uh, hi email address, uh, hi email, and we're just going to say uh, out camping having fun. And we go post. And so what's going to happen here is it's going to put it in the outbox. So we can see that in the outbox there, we've got the um, the email. But it hasn't sent it yet, and that's because we need to connect to a node. So the code is already set up. We'll hit connect. And this will use hamlib um, and the sound card and connect to rdop. Um, connect the modem and send the email. It will also receive any new emails we've got. So let's hit the connect. It actually does a training sequence to work out what the best protocol is. So you can see it there starting to tra train. And down the bottom here we have connected to VK3DPW. So we can see it sending. It's not a very fast system. It does take some time to to, to process, um, but it is very reliable even on very bad links. So you can see there, 54% done. It's got error correction. And the good thing about the system is you can actually receive email as well. Now, I don't have an email to receive, but you can see I've received the one for the uh, win link. So that email is now sent. It's removed from the outbox. Um, my mom can then reply to that email and it would re be received in the inbox. All right, so the other method of sending an email over HF that's pretty pretty easy to do is through APRS. So I've got the, the code and the car set up for uh, HF APRS at the moment. And I've connected APRS droid. So you can see I'm connected on APRS. And uh, we'll start to receive packets over time in here. So as packets come through, we'll, we'll see them in here. We can also send our position as well. Um, but yeah, let's go into the messages and have a look. So it's pretty easy. You just put in the call sign as email to. You start the email with the address you want to send it to. So let me type that in now. Oops. And then followed by your message. So this is an email over HF. Then just set send. So there's a bit of a caveat with how APRS um, email works, especially over HF. There's not that many stations in, at least in Australia, that will respond over uh, HF as well. So you probably won't get a confirmation to say your email has been sent. The other thing is uh, most uh, HF's eye gates, at least in Australia, are only receive only. They won't transmit at all. So if someone sends a response uh, via APRS, you won't be able to see it. The other thing is the email gateway itself, I don't believe uh, 
allows you to respond at all. So it's only sending through the email gateway. So any any person uh, won't be able to respond to the email. So as you can see, this has already tried to send it twice and it hasn't received an acknowledgement to say it's been, been received. Um, very likely uh, with the ban conditions at the moment, it's been received by an iGate, it just hasn't responded. So we can let this send a few times just to make sure that it's been sent over HF, uh, but otherwise we probably shouldn't tie up bandwidth just trying to send the same email over and over again. Um, that's sort of just how APRS Droid works. Some other clients will just send it once and won't worry about it acknowledgement. If we're connected via VHF, we may have got a response to say yes, it has been sent. So this is a handy way of sending an email one way to someone, um, and I've used this to schedule a contact before, um, but it's not a good, great way of working out if the email has been sent and if someone's tried to respond. For that, WinLink is much, much better. Bye. 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 Bye.